Well, 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 we're on a roll here today. Welcome back to the channel. Let me get me a sip. So good, so good, so good. Look here. Looky there. I got busted in the chin. Yeah, all you people out there, they're like, I wish she'd shut up. I'd like to give her a knuckle sandwich. Boy, you gave me an uppercut. Look at that. All right. Came down to let the little turkeys. I was feeding my little turkeys. Then I'm <laughs> so silly. I popped my chin. It hurts. Look at that. You got your wish. I got a little pop. Somebody pop eyed me right there. Evil spirit. Just poof. <laughs> but I came back. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to come swinging, you better make it count. Woo! All right. Listen, welcome back to the channel. I've already filmed a video. I'm going to go ahead. It is raining. It is so gross. It is awful. And I know you guys love to see the animals, but you watch me slip and slide and fall around in the mud and my little camera phone here is getting all soaking wet. That's just not good. It's just not. So I'm going to sit here and we're going to talk about it. So listen, I have a question for you. Welcome back to the channel, darling. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. So listen, let's talk about this. I want to know. I want to know. Since uh, we've got a special day tomorrow with the State of the Union, are you popping your popcorn? I, let's all, you know what? We, we should make a bet. Let's all, let's make some bets. How long is it, is it going to happen? Is he going to be able to stand up for how long? Um, I, here's my, here's my question to you. I want to know if his eyes are going to be dilated like a doll's eyes. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, is Joey going to be able to pull it off? How many cue cards are we going to see? Is, is, I mean, are, is it going to be like the game Memory up there? You remember the game? I, I loved that game as a kid. <laughs> loved it. I'm serious. I played Memory like crazy as a little kid. Um, and I would, my great, great grandmother would sit and play memory games with me. She'd take a pinto bean, uh, and she'd, you remember when, um, I know I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm squirreling you right now, squirrel, but my great, great grandmother would sit, you know, she, she wore pantyhose. She'd wear pantyhose under, she always wore, she never wore pants. She wore a skirt, uh, and a little, or a little dress and she'd have her apron on and she would wear pantyhose or at least like neat up to her knees bless her heart. And, but they were those legs and you'd get, they were like an egg and she would keep the eggs and I would, those plastic, you know what I'm talking about? You remember that? And she would keep them for me and I would play with them as a little kid. I didn't have toys hardly at all at my great, great grandmother's house. No, no, no. We had homemade stuff, leftover stuff. And she would line up the little eggs and she would put like a pinto bean under them and she would shift them. And I would have to guess, I, seriously, I was like five years old with a, you know, an 80 something year old woman. And we would sit there and play, we would play that for hours. But anyway, so I guess memory is going to be out tomorrow night. I, I want to, let's all talk about it. Is, are his, I, are they going to just jab him so hard with Mountain Dew that his eyeballs are this big and they're black. They're like a doll's eyes, you know, and Jaws, like I told you on that last video, like a doll's eyes, you know, uh, black is cold. Well, we're going to find out tomorrow night, but here, here's what I want to know. What would you do with $10,000 today? I've been meaning to ask you this. I know we talked about it previously, but I think this is important to note. I think people need to be hearing this. What would you do today? I want you to, I've asked you this before, but I want to bring it to the forefront. What, even $1,000, okay? Because we found out it was posted yesterday, uh, and there are several articles on it. Feel free to look it up, search engine it, Google it, you know, whatever. Um, 320,000 um, newcomers uh, were brought in. Are you kidding me? Tell me, surprise me. I can tell you that there are sources here uh, in Tennessee. Uh, I know some of you have like, well, you know, they're, you, you should talk about them bringing them up to uh, middle Tennessee. Honey, they've been bringing them here already. I don't know if you know it, but we know it. Because I know of people that live in upper East Tennessee area. And they have told me and my husband uh, that they know uh, that there's been some situations where people are being dropped off in the middle of the night up there. So if you, we we know, Tennessee people know, uh, and we see it. So we know we may not be as bad off in terms of uh, an influx of people yet. Uh, in, in, when you compare it to say New York City or other places, but we, 
we know. And thank you for telling us, but we know. Um, but I want to know. So, so you have that going on. So I want to know if that's going to be, will that be discussed tomorrow night? That's going to be cute. But clearly we have all of these different places giving options to these people. Um, and um, I want to know, as we are pushing into this election year, um, are you getting the same consideration? Have you been offered $1,000? Have you been offered $10,000? Um, how's your health care going? You know, I, I mean, I, what accommodations for this economy, this on fire economy? I, I want to know how you've been treated. How were the how were the people in Hawaii treated? Remember that? I, just dropping that off. So I am going to watch the State of the Union tomorrow night because um, I'm curious to see how it's going to go down. Um, and I want to know what would you do with this money? I, I'll tell you what, if I got $10,000 today, what would I do? Well, first thing I would do, I do believe in um, taking my 10% and doing what I need to do with that first. Thank you, Lord. Um, and then that point, I would probably do some extra giving. Um, and then at that point, I don't know. Like I told you, I might, I, I, it might go towards putting a new roof on this barn over here. Uh, it, it, it needs to happen uh, since, you know, uh, you know, nobody's paying me to talk like I do. Uh, <laughs> that's probably where I would go uh, with that. Maybe you would pay off debt. Um, you know, I saw a car. Uh, a, a, an older gentleman put a car, a Lincoln Town car. Boy, it, it was shiny like, it was shined like a little pearl. Uh, it was out sitting. I think it's already sold. And he was only asking $4,500 for it. And it's already gone. He put it out day before yesterday. I'm pretty sure it's already sold. He probably took less for it. Bless his heart. Who knows? But, I mean, for those of you that need a new car or something, a, an alternative, you could do something like that. You, I could think of a ton of bills you could be paying forward uh, on that. You might be able to go buy some extra food for your kids. Um, maybe you'd pay off um, a, a school loan today. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What, but what would you do? with $10,000 today? And do you really think this economy is booming? This is what is so interesting. And do you really think that most people understand how all of this is being pushed upon them? I think personally that a lot of people are waking up. This is why I tell you to really encourage people to do the best that they can to prepare no matter what. No, what as, far, as far If they're trying to pay off debt, if they're trying to put any type of uh, shelf-stable food on the shelf, uh, trying to make better decisions today, I'm all for that. But what would they do with $10,000? What would they do with $1,000? We need to be talking about this because, again, Americans are last right now. They are last. And we are in for the most important election of our lifetime right now. This is this is this is the cut and dry. And some of you will say, and we've talked about this a million times before, it doesn't matter who you vote for, they're all the same. Well, that's fine that you think that. I feel a moral uh, I feel a responsibility to vote. Um, at least I know I tried to do my part and I can put my head down at night. And at, still at the end of the day. Were we where we are now five years ago? Can you honestly say, no matter what you, whether you vote or not, or who you say you're going to vote for, can you honestly say that this country is better now than it was in 2019? You don't have to tell me. I know it might be hard for some people, but that's okay. And it's interesting to me to watch people fixate on subjects that have nothing to do with helping people eat today, has nothing to do with helping people, you know, help their children today, has nothing to do to ensure that people are, you know, being able to pay their light bill or pay their rent or pay their, make their house payment or make a car payment today. We need to stick to the true fundamentals here as much as we can. So it'll be interesting to see how tomorrow night goes. But tell me again, if you got a windfall today, because maybe maybe you were fortunate enough to go down to cross the border and come on back. I mean, I don't know. And you were blessed with all these accommodations right now. How would, how would that work? I mean, clearly, nobody likes to be, thir what, $34.5 trillion in debt. I, I totally agree with that. Um, but at least if we were, at least if we are, I should say, 
Wouldn't it be better to know that you're helping hardworking American citizens, the homeless, the elderly, the working middle class that's getting just literally pushed into the mud right now? I mean, I don't like the deficit. I think it's going to be one of the biggest downfalls of this country, which you need to be preparing for. But if you're helping an American citizen that's in need, which is a lot now, it's a whole lot more justifiable than knowing that you're padding the pockets of corrupt people elsewhere around the world and here. Tell me your thoughts. I want to hear from you because I know you know, and I depend upon you just like you depend upon me. Like, subscribe, and share. This is going to be great. I can't wait to see these comments. Keep praying for our country, guys. This country has literally fallen into the hands further, further, further fallen into the hands of such evil corruption. Has it always been here? Yeah. But were you living in 2018 and 19 like you are now? Are you sacrificing things now that you didn't have to do five, six, seven years ago? Maybe there's a person out there that had an independent crisis. Sure. But as a whole, where do we stand? Please tell us your thoughts. Like, subscribe, and share. Godspeed. God bless. I love the rain. I know we need it, but it can go now. <laughs> Guys, a lot of videos coming your way. I love you so much. Stay well. Stay, st stay safe. Keep preparing. Pray. Be peaceful. God bless, God speed, and I'll see you on the next video.